What's going on guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Shantae Marie and I'm a lifestyle vlogger here on the tube. I strive to make content that can help you guys out in some way, shape, or form. If you guys are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, if you're returning, I'm so glad you're still with me. I love sharing my life for you guys here on YouTube, and this is just a part of my life that I really want to share with you guys. It has taken me, well, it's taken me 20 weeks to figure out if I wanted to share my pregnancy stuff with you guys, and I decided that I think that my story is unique enough that I should share it with you guys. So yeah, if you guys plan on sticking around for this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also leave me a comment in the comments below and let me know your baby names. What names do you guys like for children or what do you have planned for your children? I just love talking about that stuff with you guys. So in this video, we're obviously gonna be discussing how I found out or how I knew that I was pregnant before I took a pregnancy test and there's a lot of videos call, calling this like the two-week wait everybody goes through this experience differently some people track ovulation some people don't I can honestly tell you that the period tracker app that I was using on my phone is 100% accurate for me or at least it was the month that I conceived my child so I know that now now that I know how all of this works but the math for that is a little bit crazy and I don't feel like I'm I don't feel like I should be explaining that to anybody. If you guys need to know how that works, there are plenty of ways. Look up YouTube videos, Google it, ask your doctor, whatever. Uh, but I wanted to let you guys know that my last menstrual cycle was the 16th of June, 2019. And if you guys have been watching me on this channel, I posted videos from the school that I was in for the military. I went to reclass school during the month of June. So while I was there, I remember being like, dang, I haven't started my period, like, I haven't started my period, like, why is it not starting? And me and my roommate actually, like, went to Walmart and bought a pregnancy test while I was there because I was like, why have I not started my period? I never miss my period. So I told my boyfriend that I was doing it, like, and then I took it and I wasn't pregnant, so I was like, oh, okay, cool, whatever. But it was like, I would have days where I felt like I was going to start and days where I didn't feel like I was going to start. And I was like, what the heck? Well, then the week before I came home, I finally started my period, but it was very different. It was like, I had my period basically in one 24-hour period, and then it just quit. So I was like, this is so weird. So then I was all like worried about it while I was there. And then once I started to be able to transition from being at that school to coming home, I just kind of forgot about it and just went on about my life. So I actually am not good at the math and ended up typing in on Google conception calculator because you can put in when your last menstrual period was, when your doctors say that you're due, and there's like one other thing that it asks you. And then after you do that, it tells you what date was the most probable for you to have conceived because I just wanted to know because I got back from that school on the 28th of June. So number two on my list, is conception calculator and the date that it actually told me was the day that I got home from school so the day that I got home from school is the date that was most probable for me to have conceived which obviously if you guys know anything about like the science behind making a baby like we're not even gonna go there but yeah you know like things can live inside your body for five to seven days if I remember right. Let's get in to what everybody wants to know and that is the symptoms. So the symptoms that I had, I'm just like, I'm very, very in tune with my body. So when anything's even the slightest bit off, I'm just like, what? And so the first symptom that I actually had was I go to the gym regularly and my boyfriend actually he would works at the gym that I lift at so I ended up like <laughs> I ended up every single time I would go to the gym after I got home I would just start my workout and I just felt like sick and I can remember walking into the gym and he'd be like hey like what are you doing and I'd, I'd like say hi and then I'd lift like one or two things and then I'd be like I'm ready to go home because I do not feel good and finally one day after about a week of it I was like why do I feel sick every single time that I lift 
not only that but like when I got done lifting I usually felt lightheaded I also felt like just physically exhausted and I was like oh I must be hungry like the same way that I would feel if I lifted on an empty stomach is how I would feel so I was like this is just weird so then on top of that I would be like I got to where I was having to eat while I was at the gym and it still wasn't working but it was so minimal it was like that symptom was so minimal to me that I didn't really think anything of it so also it was summer and it was like really hot outside so I was like maybe that's the reason why but I also ended up I started blaming it on the fact that I was about to start my period <laughs> I don't know why but that's like basically the signs of pregnancy and stuff are like the same as about me being about to start my period and it's so annoying so the other thing was that I was getting super angry just little things that wouldn't normally bother me were bothering me and it got to the point where it actually hindered me and my boyfriend's relationship there were multiple times where he would basically tell me like do you hear like how you're talking like do you see like what you're doing and I was just like I'm not being any different so like our, our relationship was literally like it was just going downhill like really fast at that time because there were things that he was doing that typically I wouldn't care and I was just freaking out about him so we got in lots of fights which actually that ended up resulting in like we're not together anymore so it was just that's another story but um yeah I ended up like I just now realized that basically for a month like there have been multiple times that I was just really being emotional like roller coastery. So okay, so the biggest this is the last symptom that I really had, but it's the biggest one is that I when I was supposed to start my period, it was like I would start having cramps, but they were just like crazy. Like I would be like, dang, I'm about to start my period to the point that I would literally go in the bathroom and end up like putting a pad on or like almost wanting to put in a tampon or something because I literally thought I was gonna start my period and it was summer so we were spending a lot of time at the pool and I was just like why wow. I remember one day we went to the pool and I went in the bathroom and checked to see if I had started my cycle like so many times because I honestly kept thinking like oh I must be bleeding oh I must be bleeding because I just it I my cramps were crazy and so that was my biggest biggest sign because the cramps weren't the same as period cramps like they felt like it but consistency wise they weren't the same and so July on July 10th I actually ended up going to the dollar store and just buying like a super freaking cheap like 88 cent test like a pregnancy test because I was like something's just off like things just aren't the same and I'm like I was confused about my period like I was just really confused and so I went I bought it I took two of them and they both were negative so I was like okay whatever and just went on about my life so then three days later I ended up waking up it was a Sunday and I was just like dang I was like I really don't feel like I'm about to start my period at all and according to my period tracker app I was supposed to be starting my period that day and I didn't have cramps or anything so that is not like me and I ended up going and spending the money on what I consider like expensive pregnancy tests and each box came with two so I spent like $28 on pregnancy tests and I came home took it and you usually are supposed to wait for the three minutes not nah, girl like I dipped it in the pee and it was just like you're pregnant so I knew right then and there that I was it's really crazy because I have recorded my reaction I recorded every single day and somehow it ended up like my computer lost all the footage so I don't have any of that anymore which is really upsetting I've already cried it out to get over it but yeah it was um, an experience so anyways that is basically how I would have known that I was pregnant before actually taking a test because of those three main symptoms. I knew something was up and that is why I took the test and honestly I'm really thankful because I ended up finding out that I was pregnant when I was literally barely four weeks pregnant. 
So not everybody's bodies works the same. I know a lot of people take tests and they say negative, but they actually are pregnant. So I got really lucky. But I just have to say, like, being in tune with your body is so great. Anyways, that concludes this video. Um, I am going to be doing videos on like my first and second trimester. Like I said, when you guys are seeing this video, I'm already almost 20 weeks pregnant. So I hope that this video helped somebody or I hope that it was interesting to you. If you guys haven't already, comment the baby names down in the down bar. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that. Thumbs up the video and until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye guys.